Okay, welcome everyone and thank you for joining us um, in this session for the Atlas award-winning course, China in the World, a Common Core course to build a global community. I'm Wilma Hodges. I'll, I'll be moderating this session. Um, so I'd like to introduce our two speakers here, um, Qian Zhu and uh, Fan Li, or Louisa Lee, you may know her as, um, a longtime community member. Um, is James joining us or no? I don't no. see him in the attendee list. Yeah, he's uh, suddenly got you today. Sorry about oh, that. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, uh, too bad he couldn't make it, but we are very excited to hear from the two of you about your course. And um, just a few reminders for the folks in the audience, please do stay muted um, unless you have a question when we're taking questions at the end. You can feel free to type your questions into the chat as we go, and I'll, I'll relay those to the speakers um, at some point throughout the presentation and um, this session is being recorded and will be available um, after the conference on YouTube and also I believe in um, another streaming platform that escapes my memory at the moment. So <laughs> all right, take it away Luisa and uh, Kianzu. Thank you. Uh, so can I will start? Yes, please. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Uh, very glad to, hear, uh, to be here to present our course, China in the World. It's a common core course. Um, uh, really sorry, James Miller couldn't be with us today because he suddenly got ill this morning. Uh, this course was taught by a team of faculty, actually six of them. I'm very glad our um, professor Chen Zhu will be here to present together. Um, so today we will first cover an overview of the course and then um, I will uh, talk about uh, Professor Chen will uh, Professor Chen Zhu will talk about the uh, transition to online teaching. I will demo the uh, site in Sakai uh, with all the major tools and the most importantly we will talk about lessons learned and what we plan for the future. Uh, so first of all, a quick overview of DKU, um, Duke Quinshan University. It's a new university, uh, relatively small. Um, we are a joint university between Duke University, Wuhan University in China, and the Quinshan uh, Municipal Government. They loan us the land and the buildings, everything. Um, so we are a very small scale in 2022, where we have our first graduates of the undergraduate graduates. So very excited. And next, Professor Chen Zhu, would you tell us about the course? Yes, it's a great pleasure to be included in the presentation. Of course, I'm still thrilled um, to become one of the winners of this award. Um, and China in the World, so we designed this course for all the freshmen at DKU. Uh, and this is one of the three common core courses now available um, in our institution. Uh, the course it was taught uh, twice in the year with 160 students at a time. We combine the primary sessions and uh, small uh, seminars. We call them uh, recitation uh, seminars. Each seminar has 16 to 18 students. The course is taught in a seven week block, uh, normally um, runs uh, 45 minutes um, each session and from Monday to Thursday. And each uh, seminar group uh, has a combination of um, uh, domestic Chinese students and international students. Normally we have uh, 12 uh, domestic Chinese students and four to five international students. The course, um, as you can, uh, you, can, you can guess, is, all, uh, is, is entirely taught uh, in English. Um, so um, as one of the um, uh, faculty who designed the course, we uh, designed the course uh, to form a foundation for future work at uh, DKU for our students. The course invites students to think about engagement of China in the world and what in China from an interdisciplinary perspective. We investigate how contemporary China has been shaped by key historical events and the processes, including 
science of trade and war. For example, in the uh, trade uh, session, uh, we, uh, we call it a trade module, um, excuse me. Um, so the first week we're going, uh, we are studying um, the ancient uh, Silk Road, um, the ancient Chinese um, in international trade, if we can call it that way, uh, both the overland and the maritime uh, Silk Road. And then the second week, uh, we study the contemporary, uh, or we call this modern international trade uh, since the 19th century, uh, including the so-called free trade and the uh, Belt Road Initiative since 2014. We also study the US-China uh, relations uh, through the international trade. Um, for example, we study the uh, Sino-US uh, trade war since 2017, and of course, the, um, the, um, the uh, consequence um, that influenced the geopolitics uh, of the world. And at the seventh week, uh, we uh, study, uh, we, and in each module, uh, we, can, we can see that in each module that uh, we try to uh, encourage students to think contemporary uh, issues um, the issues of in science, trade, and war uh, through the historical perspective. So we will ask the students uh, to, we will, or we design the students, uh, the, uh, uh, we design the essay uh, assignments for the students uh, to apply the historical knowledge to the analysis of contemporary uh, contested uh, issues. And uh, in the seventh week, uh, we designed this um, a final poster. Um, students will work together uh, on a project called China, uh, China in the World in 2040. So we, we encourage students to think about how the history influenced uh, China's future engagement uh, with the wider world. The schedule runs uh, from Monday to Thursday, and uh, Monday we have a faculty lead um, to give a lecture, and Tuesday and Wednesday we have two presentation sessions. Tuesday we, uh, we will work with our students to discuss the uh, course contents, the readings, and the lecture. Wednesday we um, we design the um, in-class activities, such as a debate and the group presentation. And Thursday, uh, we gather our students again, uh, 160, and divide them into the uh, um, uh, 10 to uh, 8 to 10 uh, 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 presentation sessions, and all of them, um, all of them sit around a round table, and each of them present. Um, a country. So we designed the same, for example, the world, um, the world peace uh, 2020. Um, and uh, each group, uh, each session, students will dis discuss with each other and prepare a one-minute one speech. And uh, after their uh, speech, um, there will be debate. And after the debate, there will be question period. Uh, the key features, here are the, some key features of the course. Uh, we combine this content delivery uh, with the lecture and the seminar discussion. And our goal is to foster critical thinking skills. Uh, the group role-playing uh, role exercises, um, we try to build um, empathic uh, intelligence. For example, when we design the uh, plenary workshop, we encourage students from the uh, developing countries uh, to articulate their, uh, their views on the um, sensitive uh, topics, such as the Belt Road um, influence um, along the uh, Belt Road uh, countries. And we have students from Pakistan and other countries will share their uh, personal stories and their analysis of, of, those, uh, of those issues. Um, three individual essay assignments, we base the uh, students um, write those essays based upon primary and secondary sources. And we uh, and they try to build uh, historical thinking skills. Again, uh, what they learned in the class, history and the contemporary, they need uh, articulating in writing. Uh, final group assignments, um, uh, uh, I talked about that uh, a, a bit earlier. 
Uh, this, this spring, we have China in the World 2040. We try to encourage students to imagine uh, what China's look like and what the world look like in 2040, based upon what we learned uh, in class. Um, now I'm talking about the, uh, how we use Sakai uh, before and after uh, we shift to uh, online version. So we use the Sakai before the um, COVID-19 closure. Um, we use the Sakai in a quite moderate um, and uh, supplementary way. Uh, we upload resources, assignments, and uh, we, we um, created great work for class logistics. And we use the uh, forum, uh, discussion forum, to supplement in-class discussion. But those are those are not quite. Those are not used uh, actively, you know, in my way, in my opinion, um, because we just post on the guiding questions. Students just write their answers of those questions. After we switched uh, to the online version, um, roughly around March to April two thousand twenty, uh, we have to uh, work out how to use Sakai better to replicate uh, as much as possible the pedagogical goals of the face-to-face -face classes. Um, so we um, we find um, a few solutions. Uh, Sakai. We make Sakai as the center uh, to the learning experience. Um, and we also make far more use of Sakai tools and integrated tools, uh, such as Zoom, Turnitin, and VoiceThread. Other challenges um, we have, um, as all of the teaching uh, colleagues <laughs> throughout the world are facing, we have students coming from 41 countries. So uh, we really try to navigate uh, students across eight time zones. So how to encourage students' uh, engagement and participation. That's our goal uh, to improve our pedagogy. I'm going, I'm going to the details when I move to the third part of the learned lessons of the future. So now, uh, uh, Luisa, we invite Luisa to introduce our Sakai um, demo site. Okay, thank you, Chen. Uh, I will share my screen now. All right, can you see that? Okay, good. Yeah. Yes, very good. So this is our Sakai instance. Um, I created this demo site so you can see all the content, the layout without seeing any student data. Uh, so first of all, we have a very uh, uh, standard uh, layout the menus on the on the side. Then we use the overview page to display all the instructor's contact information. Uh, you, you can see that this is the old one, so all the uh, faculties uh, in the team and our two tutors, student tutors. Uh, after we transition online, we added all the faculties uh, Zoom personal Zoom meeting, so they can um, be easily accessible by students. Another important change is that we use the lessons page to host all our learning materials. Uh, oh, excuse me. So you can see that we have this unique seven week structure. We have three topics, science, trade, and law. They are grouped into three sub pages and we have the final week, the final group project for to imagine China 2040. Now at the very beginning, uh, we're okay, we're doing the class in, on campus. We uh, have this double column view, so students can see very clearly what they need to do on week one and what they need to do on week two. We also uh, piloting the Turnitin tool. This is the first time we use Turnitin. It's the new uh, integration in the lessons. It's not the uh, the, uh, the legacy integration in the assignment. So you add a link here, um, but uh, this turning is not turned on in the demo side, so you cannot see much. But when you click in, it's the same uh, turning. Now, after that, we go into uh, week two. Um, I think 
uh, almost the end of week three, uh, we had uh, news about transitioning online. And that's when we added all the Zoom meetings. You can see we have nine sections, um, uh, 139 students. So these Zoom meetings are all arranged so students can meet with the faculty uh, online uh, during their synchronous meetings. And then um, in the next session, uh, we recorded all the lectures using Zoom. And you can see we have all this Zoom link here. We use this a simple layout so students can navigate very easily. We didn't develop this as a full on online course uh, because we don't want to uh, overwhelm this page. So you can see it's right now very clean, straightforward. And the students can go into the forums. Uh, for example, this is a week five uh, discussion questions. They can go in there and they can see all the uh, discussion questions. They can respond to their uh, fellow classmates. They can have time to think and uh, uh, craft the answers carefully. Right. So this is the form. And then I have, I think I have a sample here to show you. Um, oops. This the. Uh, bar here on the top is blocking. Let me see. Uh, all right. So this is one of the uh, lectures we, uh, we did for the class. As you can see, we made the... Okay. Um, this lecture is about 12 minutes long. It's not very long, so students can navigate it very easily. This faculty particular lecture actually used the Pro Everywhere in a PowerPoint uh, to taste the students about the different um, choices uh, for the, in, during the history. And the student find this uh, transcript also very useful because they can skip and also identify things they want to watch repeatedly. All right, let me go back here. And in the last week, uh, we also, um, in the last week, we also have the new tool, uh, VoiceRed, to let the students present their um, final project. It's a Pekakucha presentation. Professor Chu will talk about that more. I just show you the interface. Um, we have a very good support, uh, Dr. Uh, ben Overmeer, uh, he recorded the whole thing to tell students how to use, uh, use PowerPoint, upload them to VoiceThread, and the, the whole nine yard. So tell students how to do this properly. And you can see they are also uh, come with a uh, audio script and the students can see this very easily. They can follow along and try to use it. We have so many students and they are very excited to see so many different uh, view of the future uh, of China in 2040. And um, we're also very glad to provide this opportunity uh, online uh, to make it happen. All right, this is a very quick view of our uh, lessons. We also integrated Zoom. You can see here, widespread and Zoom. Uh, very easy to access for students. Okay, uh, due to the time limits, I will pass the back on to Professor Zhu to talk about the lessons learned. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, very clearly. Um, I just forgot to unmute myself. Um, thank you, Luisa. So now I'm introduced uh, the lessons we learned uh, from the uh, things we moved the course online and what we can use and transfer uh, for the future face-to-face -face, uh, classroom. Uh, so again, we have students uh, coming from 41 countries. Uh, so. Uh, at the beginning, when we 
design this course, our goal um, is to build a global community with common ground. So classroom interactions and psychiatric discussion forums are crucial uh, to this process. After we shift to online, um, Zoom enabled us to continue our engagement. Uh, the bonding also happens through group activities. Uh, we assigned uh, students to smaller group, uh, smaller groups, uh, three to four students per group, uh, each tasked with leading a 30 minute uh, seminar discussion and the larger groups, eight to 10 students per group which work together in the end of the module role play activities and the final project. We divided the groups with an uh, emphasis on gender and uh, home country diversity. After um, the advent of COVID-19, we found it impractical to uh, pract uh, continue the larger groups. So uh, we assigned the final assignment, uh, now uh, transformed into a voice thread presentation as Louisa uh, just uh, showed for, for us. Um, so the voice thread presentation now um, are made um, by the smaller groups as well. The presentation was shared with the whole class and the student had a 24 hour time window to listen to and comment upon their colleagues' presentations. They also voted on the best presentation in different categories, such as um, the best presentation or the best design. Best design. Um, the role play uh, games worked well to build community. Um, this happened um, before the uh, before we put a transfer to online. Uh, this this uh, uh, role play games uh, we. Uh, we do this uh, during this uh, plenary workshop. So during the, in the plenary workshops, um, students had a chance to show a different side of themselves and assume roles they had been unable to perform in class thus far. Similarly, we have students with acting backgrounds uh, burst, uh, burst, burst onto the stage while previously shy students spoke to a larger uh, audience to their peers. The Sakai forums and voice thread uh, after we move online offered asynchronous ways of bonding. So we think that we can transfer this um, role-playing game bonding to uh, on the Sakai form and voice thread. One question on Sakai, uh, for example, one question on Sakai asking about um, their family histories during the World War II the Chinese Civil War or other 20th century conflicts. Uh, students particularly, um, uh, um, I mean, we are, we think the, the, that forum uh, question was particularly uh, successful. Um, students whose grandparents had been on different sides in the Second World War or the Cold War could find common ground, common ground in the suffering that was endured by all. The final voice thread presentation allowed for students to, sh to share sometimes vastly different visions of the future of China in a spirit of sharing and uh, collaboration. For example, um, uh, Luisa just showed briefly, we have students focus on the COVID-19 this year, and we have students uh, focus on the AI, and they have completely different view of what AI as role um, in the future of 2040. Some students think that AI will cause unemployment, for example. And most importantly, I think I, I, uh, this is what I wanted to uh, uh, highlight that we reformed our lecture, the primary lecture on Monday, into what we call it two forms, uh, guest speaker, um, guest, uh, uh, we invite guest speakers and also we kind of design the intellectual conversations among us. So in the second teaching session of spring 2020, um, uh, our DKU have seven weeks block. So we have two sessions in the spring. So the first session, um, we, uh, the, we have a hybrid version. We have in classroom, uh, cla we have the classroom, uh, we have the rec, uh, uh, um, we have a normal um, pedagogical classroom uh, class in the first three weeks, 
and the next and the 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 uh, the from the week four to week seven we have to move to online. But in the second session, um, uh, since the uh, April, um, we have to move the whole uh, class online. So we, de we decide to redesign uh, uh, the lecture, the primary lecture. So we invite, in two weeks, we invited two guest speakers, the authors of the course readings to speak in the Zoom session. We had a host of faculty, James has uh, served for the lead to prepare an interview, asking the speakers questions related to his and uh, all her works and intellectual matters, such as uh, personal interest in the research. The session was carried out in the interview format that the guest speaker lectured by answering the host questions. Students can type in questions in the chat room on Zoom, and we have a faculty moderator to facilitate the question and answer of the Q&A session. In other weeks, um, uh, the other four weeks, we have a second session. We have um, our faculty leads, James, to prepare a script of teaching plan each week, and all of us took on responsibilities to elaborate a few questions during the Zoom classes. The lecture, therefore, has turned into a collective effort or a showcase of intellectual conversations. Sometimes we disagree with each other. Um, and we find um, this, particularly we find this moment is, had a, is quite a valuable uh, educational moment that um, students commented in the teaching evaluation that the lecture set up an example of how academics work and work with each other in reality. And also some students reflected, um, they really enjoyed uh, watching professors argue with each other. <laughs> On the other hand, they understood um, disagreements commonly existed and uh, how to make a disagreement is equally important to make agreement. So, um, so since um, week three, and also the, in the SA2, we saw students argue with each other on the forum post actively. Um, and uh, we also have students in their essay writing developed um, uh, oppositional arguments as well. So we also, um, um, we also modified mechanisms uh, help us to enhance communication and integration. Uh, students were provided with multiple choices in interactions. Um, before the shift to online, students could gain participation uh, credit either by speaking in class or by posting on the uh, class forums. During optional uh, synchronous uh, Zoom sessions, they could either use the typing that function or speak into the microphone. They could reach their professors by email, Zoom office hour, or in other cases, even the popular uh, chat app, uh, WeChat. Um, so uh, I have a few student, students, uh, quiet and shy students, commented in the teaching evaluation that the Zoom office hour I really encourage them to uh, speak, uh, to talk to uh, uh, professors. Somehow they, they were hesitant to talk to professors face to face. But in, during the Zoom uh, office hour, they could hide behind the camera and they feel more relaxed and waiting to talk. Um, so I, I actually feel um, I get closer with uh, some of my quiet students um, in, the, in the second session. So that's something that I really uh, think that uh, we could reform our office hour later, face-to-face uh, -face office hour later. Um, and we make sure that clear expectations in participants' uh, response, uh, responsiveness and uh, uh, availability are stated um, both in the syllabus and also in the lessons and in the Sakai. So at the beginning of the um, course, uh, clear deadlines for every assignment, including online student forum responses, were articulated uh, uh, through the lessons tool. 
So uh, Luisa already um, introduced that we have those video tutorials um, uh, of the voice thread uh, available for the students. We also use the, uh, use the uh, uh, Sakai announcement and also uh, um, also the uh, 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 the Sakai email function to um, uh, every week to update with students with the change of the change. Um, instructor quickly, and we want to make sure that we quickly provide uh, uh, feedback, um, especially when students are remote. The, sometimes the anxiety uh, um, rose if they could not uh, get uh, feedback as, as, uh, as they uh, expected. So participation grades were recorded and accessible to students right after every two week module ended. Essay grades were available the following week. Feedback was recorded uh, through Turnitin and accessible to students. When the course when the course still took place, face-to-face -face presentation sessions allow for peer review workshops on drafts the students took to class. After the shift, we used the breakout room function in Zoom to have students discuss the quality of the pages um, authored by their um, peers. Using the screen share function, uh, the class then went over and corrected student writing. In fact, the groups acted as one continuous formative feedback mechanism throughout the course. It's partially in recitation sessions. Uh, students were called upon to articulate their understanding of tests and concepts to their peers who responded with their own understanding. Onboarding technical and, and technical support is provided. Uh, DKU's Center of Teaching and Learning Team um, Luisa is working at uh, the center. Um, together uh, with the DKU service desk, were available throughout um, to assist with issues. All of our assignments, except for the final assignment, have low stakes um, feedback mechanism. Participation and essay grades were given out biweekly and the quality of the team discussion lead uh, assignments um, were discussed in class. As for the final assignments, the suspension of regular class meetings during the final seventh week was designed to allow student groups to have at least one 30 minute meeting with their, uh, with their uh, presentation professor for feedback on drafts. We also want to make sure that clear health information is available. For the most complex assignment, the final uh, presentation, we recorded how to videos and send out links to YouTube movies detailing best uh, practices. So uh, we sh uh, Luis already showed uh, one of these um, uh, uh, voice uh, thread uh, video uh, tutorials. We want to move this to the YouTube because we have students, constantly have students have um, VPN or internet uh, problems to um, sign in Sakai. So we wanted to make sure that they are, um, uh, uh, they are, uh, they are updated to, the, uh, to these uh, tools um, uh, um, manuals. Specialized um, peer tutors were available by appointment uh, even during the, uh, uh, during the online sessions. Um, also, the writing support from the lesson uh, from the uh, language and culture center, uh, uh, they are also available online, and students can make appointment um, Zoom appointment with them. Accessible and alternative formats are provided. Um, synchronous Zoom sessions were recorded. Um, Luisa already showed the uh, recorded uh, uh, sessions, and we have the subtitle in the cloud. Uh, lectures were also subtitled and could be endlessly replayed. Shorter videos were provided to orange students in the new online course format. So uh, we make it 12 minutes. Um, we kind of divided the longer um, videos into 12 minutes units. Uh, and um, some students like to, and this is for the student, if they watch it is um, through the streamline, um, this will, the, the speed, uh, we, will, uh, we want to make sure the speed is okay for them. 
and also some students they have um, they could download the 12 minutes of, of short videos as well. Um, I'm so, going to have to cut you guys off a little bit. I do apologize because it's fascinating um, hearing about your course, um, but we are about five minutes over and we need to give people time to get to the next session. So I know Louisa was busily answering questions in the chat. Um, if you had a question that you didn't uh, get to ask, um, I encourage you to use the discussion forum in Sakai for this session to post your questions there. And I'd like to thank our speakers again, um, uh, Louisa and Kian Zhu. It's a, a wonderful course and very deserving of the Atlas Award. So thank you guys very much. Thank you, guys. I will, uh, we will take questions in the discussion, and I will post our slides there, OK? Uh, Great. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. OK. Thank, Thank you. you.